<laughs> Laura's coming over again and we're gonna write together and I'm so excited because I have so many words written and I have so many in my head that I want to write that I've been thinking about at work all day and I'm just so excited to get it down and also it's fun to hang out with Laura. <laughs> So Laura and I just wrote for half an hour, and we both wrote, she wrote almost a thousand words or something. 900 words? 900 something. And I wrote a thousand and something. Like, what? And anyway, that's fabulous. And now we're going to write more. Laura and I wrote a whole bunch more words, because we rock, and now we're trying to get these candy cane Oreos open. It doesn't have a peely top. It's very good. Victory. Woo! It's good, but you know what I prefer? I ice cream. Anthony cake. got ice cream for the cake. Glorious. Yep. Now eat it. No. <laughs> so I wrote 5,000 words today. And I wrote three. Yes. Oh my god. We're amazing. And I was saying before how... I'm just like touching my forehead all weird. That it was difficult for me because my <laughs> stories actually was already 32,000 words when I started it. Um, so I was getting to the end. Like, and it was difficult for me to like figure out what else to write because I, it was getting close to the end but now that it's getting close to the end I have all these ideas on what I want to have like come to the end and I just want to get it all out right now which I probably could do but I would be up till like two or three in the morning so. Call in sick tomorrow. Just kidding. <laughs> so I have to leave for work in 15 minutes. I have to leave a bit early because I have to scrape the car off because it's all icy and snowy out there but I realized I forgot to share part of my story yesterday since I wrote the word goal plus a whole bunch more, so I'm gonna find a part to read. Okay, I found a part. Uh, okay. Ah, shit, I said, detangling myself from Mason and trying to sit up. Shit, 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 I said again, trying to keep my voice low. Shh, Mason hushed, sitting up with me. The fire had dwindled out, and I could only just make out the outlines of his face. What is it? My foot, my foot is cramping. Right foot? I nodded, and then realized that he probably couldn't see me. Yes, I answered. He scooched to my left foot and took my shoe off, placing it on the ground beside me. I watched what I could see of his face as he started rubbing my left foot, running his thumb along the bottom of my arch. I tilted my head back and held my breath, trying my hardest not to wake up Luke and Quinn. Why is this happening so much all of a sudden, I whispered. It's happened twice, he said almost flatly. <laughs> That's not so much, I guess. Does it still hurt, he asked. A little. I saw his silhouette nod, and he kept rubbing my foot, slowly letting the pain subside in my phantom limb. When the agony finally seeped away, I leaned forward and pushed his hand away. Good, he asked, readjusting himself into the blankets. Yeah, there was still a bit of in there was still a bit of an ache, but that I could handle. Are you okay? He asked, bringing his body in close to mine again. Yeah. He wrapped his arms around me and pressed his chest into my back. What about this? Is this okay? Yeah. Okay. Then go back to sleep. I snuggled back into him a bit more and felt myself relax into his arms, falling back asleep quite easily. It was my plan to win NaNoWriMo tonight, which I can still totally do because I have less than 3,000 words that I have to write. Oh my god! Uh, but it's 7.34 and I haven't written yet because I just spent the last while editing my latest NaNoWriMo vlog and I talked to my dad on the phone and I made supper, obviously. So now I'm going to sit down and write and I'm excited! And now I'm going to Walmart with Laura in my pajamas. Because I'm cool like that. I seriously only have 500 words left to write but it's 12.40 and I'm tired and I can't. I have to go to bed. I wanted to finish it today. I really wanted to finish it seven days early, but what you gonna do? I can do it six days early. <laughs> okay, I did not find a part to read last night because uh, I was really tired and just looking through my computer trying to find a part, I just was like, no, I can't do this. I need to go to bed. So I'm gonna read a part right now. All right, I'm just gonna put the camera here. There we go. <laughs> <clears throat> I wonder how much of this I'm going to read. I feel like I'm going to read a lot. I worked a death pile when I was about 13 years old, and I cried as my parents and I made our way closer to the sour stench of rotting bodies. The heat got worse as we neared the pile, and I had to hold a hand over my mouth to stop from gagging. There were already people working, people who rounded up the dead bodies and brought them to one place. Some of them looked like they had turned before they were killed, but none of those looked like they had been a zombie for very long. They were mostly just dead. My dad gave me a few sympathetic looks as I tried my hardest not to cry, but my mother got frustrated if I whimpered or complained. The people leading the death pile gave us gloves and masks to wear over our mouths and noses, but it still made every inch of my skin crawl. Where did they get all these dead bodies from? My dad led my mother and me into the small group of volunteers who were already on top of the pile, probably eight bodies high, pulling off their boots and shoes, pulling off their shirts and pants, pulling off their dignity. 
It made me uncomfortable to see their private parts, and I tried not to look at them. I tried to stay near the bodies that were still fully clothed so I could take off their outer layers and then move on to another one. I carefully untied shoes and boots and slipped them off gently. I took my time walking I took my time walking the items to the piles that other people were sorting. I tried to walk slowly back to the pile back but on my third trip back, the person in charge yelled at me to hurry up. Oi, he called. You there, stop dawdling. I wiped the sweat from my eyebrow with the back of my wrist, trying not to get any part of my gross glove on me. I stumbled a little bit on my way to the top of the dead people and had to put a hand down to steady myself. I gagged when I found my finger in the eyeball of some dead child and I had to bite my lip to suppress a cry. My dad came up from behind me and put a gentle hand on my shoulder. Come with me, he whispered. I nodded and sniffled as I turned around and followed him to the sorting area. Do you understand why we're doing this? He asked me. He took slow steps so that we could take our time and talk on our way. Because we get first pick of the stuff, I asked. He shook his head and shrugged. Not really. First pick is helpful, yes, but we're working this because someone has to do it. I twisted my eyebrows in confusion. There are always people working death piles, he continued, whether big ones like this one here or small ones. There are always people collecting dead bodies and bringing them to one place. There are always people collecting useful things that they can't use anymore, but that other people can. But we've taken things from dead people before, I said, without a death pile. Yes, we have, but there are still people out there doing this every day for those who haven't. For those who don't have the stomach or the heart to take a pair of shoes from a dead 13-year-old that they came across on the side of the road. There are people who can't do it. People who need help. And we can help. Someone has to be doing it. And at least one of those times, it should be us. Also, why is Black Friday a thing? <laughs> also, I'm still mad that it came to Canada. We have Boxing Day. We don't need Black Friday. Although it is helpful getting deals before Christmas. So it was not that busy at work today, which is good. It was, like it was busy, but it wasn't like super crazy, I want to die Black Friday busy like it has been in the past years. So that's good. Um, yeah. And now it's time to write. Um, I have 500 words left and I'm having difficulties because I'm basically at the end and I don't, like I know how I want to end it, but I don't know, but I don't know how to like get to the end. Like, I'm at the end, but, like, the, the way it's coming together and the way the ending is, like, forming, I don't like, and I'm finding it very difficult. And I don't know if I'm just going to write another ending and then see which one I like better, or just kind of play with it and just write a whole bunch of different forms of endings, or if I'm just going to go back through the story and add to scenes. Because I did know, because I did want to add to scenes, like, I, and I have been doing that throughout my writing process as well, as going back through it and just adding and like elaborating on some things. So I don't know how I'm gonna get, what I'm gonna do to get to my 500 words, but I'm planning on doing it like right now. I'm gonna get changed first though. <laughs> yeah, endings are hard. So I'm just adding to a scene that is actually coming quite easily. I really like that this part that I'm adding and I am now at 81,989 words, which brings my NaNoWriMo count. Let's see what it brings my NaNoWriMo count to. 49,737 words. I have 263 words left! I'm about to update my word count. <laughs> and I just won. I'm gonna move uh, and and record the computer and all that great stuff because it's fun to do that. Okay, here I go! Okay, now I need to find the spot where I started writing. Um, although, this doesn't work because I've... I went back and added stuff to parts that I had written before I started NaNoWriMo. So now I don't know where to go to start copying words to make the 50,000. This is difficult. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Ugh, oh, there's still more. Damn it! <laughs> that would have been so good if I timed that right. Doing it, validate. And now it thinks I wrote 51,000. Whatever, it's fine. <laughs> I won, it doesn't matter.
Yay! Yay! Now I feel like crying because I'm a big loser. I did it! Six days early! Now I have to try and figure out my ending. I don't have to do it right now, though. Um, I can have a bit of a life again. <laughs> uh, but I am, I'm actually, I'm really sad that my novel is basically done and I'm at the ending and I just need to figure out how to, how to play it out or whatever. Endings are hard. Endings are the hardest for me. And I pretty much always know how I want them to end, but just getting them to that point, getting the story to wrap up nicely, to get to that spot, and have that spot kind of like feel nice and like accomplished and satisfying is really, really, really hard. <laughs> I have a feeling I'm not going to get the ending right until uh, second draft, probably. But yeah. <laughs>